In 1994, Arsenio Hall interviewed Gary Coleman. The following is an improvised reenactment. To watch the word-for-word -word interview, click here. From stage 29 at Paramount Studios on Melrose Avenue, in the heart of Hollywood, California, in the United States, on the planet we call Earth, it's the Arsherio Paul Show, starring Arsherio Paul. Hot off a guest appearance on Married with Children, please welcome Gary Coleman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gary Coleman. Oh, come on. All right. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, stop. Uh, have a seat. No, have a seat. Oh, stop. You can sit there. Can sit. Oh, stop. Yeah, you can sit there. Yeah. Okay. Just sit oh, stop. Down. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, stop. Oh, stop. Yeah, they stopped. They stopped. Okay. The they, stopped. they did. Yeah, okay. they did. You got it. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gary Coleman. Oh, my gosh. Where should we start tonight? I mean, First of all, are you dating? Yes, of course I am. Yep. Do not believe you. No, I am. I date a lot. I can't. You see, I'm dating. I got the outfit now. Yeah. I got the leather jacket. I got jeans. I got a silk shirt on. Before, I had a double-breasted tuxedo. Yeah. I looked like a little tiny. I looked like a little man. See, but now I'm looking cool. Women see me and they think, "Hey, there's a cool man. I got to go to a party with that man. He looks like a cool man. He doesn't look like a little boy. He's a cool man." So, so this, uh, you said this outfit. Attracts women. It does attract women very much. I got the look. I yes. got my. I got my urban combat boots. So basically, you are a tough guy now. You are not. I'm a tough. You see, in case you didn't get it, I dress like a tough man now. See, you before a tough guy. before I had kind of a sophisticated look, but yeah. now I came back. I thought, how does a tough man dress? I thought tough men wear leather, jeans, pants, All shoes. Right. Okay, well you're pulling so, it off. Yeah. You're pulling it off. Um, I'm looking tough. Quick question: What's the girlfriend's name? Uh, her name is uh. <laughs> just, yeah, you could just say it. Just say it. Yeah. Should be right on the tip of your tongue. Ah, uh, it's I. It's hard to. If you should, if you're dating you someone, know, I, you should. I. What was the question? I said, "What's your girlfriend's name, man?" What? I'm asking you what your girlfriend's name is. That should not be a question that should stump you. Married with children was the best oh, thing right. I ever did in my life. It's even better than different strokes. It's better than different strokes. It's probably maybe not the best thing I ever okay. did in my life. Quick question: What's your girlfriend's name? <laughs> It should not be stumping you. That, that is a question. Urban combat boots. Okay. okay. No, no, all right. Well, no. Here's why I can't think okay. of the name of my... I, okay. just, I just thought of why okay. I can't think of the name sure. of my girlfriend. Yes. Just now. Okay. It's because I have more than a one. That's a terrible... terrible no, don't do that. It's a terrible idea. You're on television. So if your girlfriend's watching now... You've revealed it to all of them. That's a terrible well, idea. Well, I'm not good at Mac games, so I don't have a, uh, I mean, that's the thing. Okay. It? I'm kind of, I'm still getting my Mac game on. I'm you're still, still working Mac, on your Mac But I skills. have a lot of, I have more than one. Girl, you look like you're, you're touching balls. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, okay, all right. That is, that's a little bit more appropriate. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Do you want to get married? No, not at all. Wait, why not? Because I f***ing hate kids, Arsh. You... I just hate, I hate kids! Well, do you think that this is getting an audience on your side that you hate kids? I do, kids? I think everyone no. hates kids, no. and I'm just finally saying it. No, 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 everyone loves- hating kids? Nothing. Who hates kids? No one. See, you are America's favorite child. And, and uh, no, that is, no, no, no one hates kids. Who, the... who hates kids? It's deafening silence. No one. It's because you keep talking. No, no, no one's I a heard a guy. No one. I heard one guy. That's a guy coughing. He's coughing. I think that guy hates kids. No, he doesn't. So Here's you the hate thing kids? about kids. Kids are Not. stupid. You can't talk to them. They're, they're so dumb, they just put things in their mouth. They poo and pee everywhere. But, and when I, when I hate that. I think that's disgusting and stupid. Okay. And whenever I talk to a kid, I think you're stupid. I want an adult here who I can converse with and talk to, eat food with, go okay. to a restaurant. Right, right. Someone who can, has okay. control of their motor skills, doesn't pee or poop just Got on it. themselves. Let That's ask, why I hate kids. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Now, Dana Plato, when you're on set with her, you yes. see that beautiful woman. Yes. You ever just, you know, pop a stiff one there and just, you want to just run to the bathroom now, and just now, bang our one city, yeah, Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. I didn't get to even be sexually aroused back then. Because, what, you couldn't be sexually aroused? No, because AIDS had just come out. Oh. It okay. was released. Got AIDS it. Yes. was released in 1982. I remember yes. the day. Right after May 17th, 1982. Yes. AIDS came out. Right. We lined up for hours mm -hmm. to see it. Yes. And then there it was. Out in the open. 
So once AIDS came out, everyone, you know, people, you couldn't really pop a stiffy. People were kind of running around and hiding because people didn't want the AIDS to get them. And then, you yeah. know, because so AIDS was everywhere then. And so I didn't really get good at macking because in order to mac, you had to do things that would give you AIDS, basically. Got and it. So you couldn't even kiss a girl I without getting AIDS. I couldn't kiss a girl without getting AIDS. This was 1982, Arsenio oh, okay. Hall. Okay. AIDS had just come out. Got it. AIDS Got was it. everywhere. Yes, yes. You couldn't drink from a water fountain without mm -hmm. getting AIDS in 1982. Right, right. So right. I didn't really start dating until later. Once they cured AIDS in 1989, I started right. dating more, and then, uh, but now I'm good at it. You're good at it. If you know what I mean, I just in the last few years got good at it. Okay, all right. I well, got good at, at sexing. Se sexing. I got good at with, with sexing. Now, you can come back anytime. You can come back anytime you oh, want. Oh, I want to come back. You can come back. Can I just stay? No, you cannot stay. Can I just stay here now? No, you cannot stay. Why not just stay here? Don't know because we have LeVar Burton coming up and you cannot stay. I know LeVar. Okay, well, no, you can't stay. You cannot stay on the couch. Uh, I but, love LeVar. I'm uh, going to just. You, no, do not. You can't stay. No, I think I'm just going to stay. You yeah. definitely can't. You, but how about this? You come back next time. You can bring oh, a clip. Can I come back tomorrow? Not tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, a couple, like a month. A couple months. Three weeks. <sighs> like, let's just say like six months a year. Maybe it's not. Five months. Okay, you're on. Can you, I bring a clip? Yes, what kind of clip would you like to bring? Uh, I don't know, something from Different Strokes? What you talking about, Willis? I love it. You can bring an old clip from Different Strokes. We can pretend like the show's still on and kind of give you that kind of luster that you need. What All you right? talking about, Willis? I like that. I like that a lot. All right, Gary Coleman will be right back with the amazing musical talents of Lisa Van Gogh. I'm Arsherio Paul, the best and only Arsenio Hall parody show on YouTube. Subscribe now.